there to say it to a hoe. Hit me, please. Bitch, because I'm the reason you got a storyline. I don't know you. You walked up to me and you said I am a fan of yours. This your fucking problem with take responsibility that you just fucked up. I want you to follow along with me real quick. Did I not call you? Can you meet her? Because I deny it to her parents. Good evening. This is the voice of TTB, and tonight is part one of the Chasing Atlanta reunion. This season, we have seen it all. From our tough moments, emotional breakdowns, and even shocking surprises. You brought some mess to that hole and I checked it, bitch. Don't let this hole get you fucked up, girl. We have so much to unpack for this reunion. This is the moment you have all been waiting for, so let's dive into it right now. Hey, Sissy Pops, it is the voice of TTP, and I am here with the fabulous cast of season five of Chasing Atlanta, and this is the reunion. <laughs> Today. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. You look beautiful. You look amazing. Thank you. So do you. How's the hair business doing? Going great. Getting better day by day. I've been making weaves down in Heavenly Beauty. So, honey, it's doing good. Okay. okay make some money. Don't let it make you money. Absolutely. Hi. What's up? Let's talk What's real that? quick. So, um, <laughs> Sissy Bob. Um, <laughs> is, it, is it 9.8 oh, or what? Like, uh, spill the tea. All I can say is, you can't really ask Ike about stuff that Array does. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Oh. Yo, that's, that's, <laughs> that's Array. Where's Array here? Okay, where's Array? Where's Array? Okay, where's Array? Where's Array? Where's Array? But what I, what, I, what I will say is it's a, a long story. Oh! oh. Well, hopefully we get to read that story one day. So, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Rico! What's it? What's going on? How are you doing today? And did you, did you bring your... Baby, oh, I'm, I'm weapon the baby. free. I'm weapon free. Ain't nobody got nothing to worry about. They ch check me at the door. You look amazing. Thank and you. So do you. Good to see you. Good to see you, Troy. Oh, what's up? What's going on? Let me get into your face, honey. It's getting boo. <laughs> <laughs> how, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing amazing. It's really, 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 really good to see you, honey. Good to see you, too. Finally, nice to meet you. Okay. Yes. Rico with the K, baby. What's good? How you doing? How are you? I'm blessed and highly flavored. Do you need 60 seconds to do anything before I can check no, out? No, no, I, no, no, I'm good, I'm good. Let's make sure, okay? <laughs> Dominique, West T. How's the single life going? Amazing. You know, outside, outside, real bad. Real bad. Yeah, yeah. Real bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that won't be naked. Yes, welcome to Atlanta. Okay. Look amazing. It's Thank so you. so good to see you. Okay. Thank you. Jay Amore. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hi. I see you uh I see you stole my shoes. I mean I it's, it's a, a bitch stole, stole my look moment. moment. It, it is, is. Oh, it is, it is. It really is. <laughs> it is what it is. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Um, how's your career going? Amazing. Like, you got a lot going on, you got a lot of wine. You do a lot, so how's everything going? It's, it's going good. good. Making some coins, making some moves. It's good. Yeah, you look amazing. Aaron Thomas. What's popping? How do you feel about your first reunion? Are you this excited? Is exciting. What's going on? Everybody look real good. I'm feeling good, you know what I'm saying? No nerves, it's all good vibes. You feel me? Cameron, baby. What's going on? What's what is the tea? The last Hello. OG, baby. Here, yeah. The last What's OG. The OG. On it? I'm feeling wonderful. It's really, really, really nice to see it's you. It's good to see you too, baby. All right, baby. There is. Wayne. What's good? Looking dapper in that purple, baby. Hey, okay, thank you. How you doing? How are you today? Amazing. Okay, okay. It's really, really, really good to see you. Oh, okay. You look amazing. Love the blouse. You're doing it for me, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Kendra. What's good? Uh, uh, what's good? I see you got, I see you got my favorite girls out. Hello. Give me a little, 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 little. <laughs> How are you doing, Queen? I'm doing good. It's really, really Blessed good. Blessed and high in faith. Yes, it's amen. so good to see you. You look absolutely Damn, you look real, real good. Real good. Real good. Real good. Real good. Real good. And last but not least. 
<gasps> I'm just playing. I was like, damn, what you gonna say about that? I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm <laughs> Next, baby, how are you? What's going on? It's so good to meet you. It's so good yeah. to see you. I see you stole my wig. Bitch, I stole your motherfucking wig. You <laughs> <laughs> didn't even tell no lies. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, um, you guys, we are unfortunately we are missing one person, and that is Drew Friday. Unfortunately, she could not be here with us in person, but we will be bringing in her virtually later on in the show. Now, let's get into this reunion, shall we? This season, we have done it all. Okay, from new adventures, new music, new faces, and even a trip to the cabins. Okay, six new members were welcome to the show and chimed in on all of the drama while getting to their own bag. Cameron, Dominique, and Troy started us off with their Chicago beef. Let's take a look. Hey y'all, what's gooey? Y'all thought I was gone, huh? A lot of people didn't see, want to see me back, but I'm here to stay. I've been doing fashion shows. I've been performing everybody. People are flying me out to Houston. <laughs> Where's the best friends? The Dominiques, the Troys. Oh. That's my man, and I'ma stay beside her. No, I am. So let me just really take y'all back what really happened between me and Troy. We were in Chicago, we were having a good time. It was just certain moments where Troy was just acting just, I wanna call it bitchy, whatever, but. What does Troy do? I mean, the last thing he left off on was doing interviews, podcasting, but I have not seen anything since last year. Are you, so are y'all beeped out, or is this something he doesn't even know? You it's not. Be, it's not it. it's not beat out but i do want to have a conversation he's out here saying that he has an issue with me one how i treated dominique in chicago he's out here in dominique which is in chicago i told him he's a dirty yeah. people but i'm just like why does that make it your issue your issue hey. we're gonna talk about chicago nobody has an issue with you man. i don't say nobody has an issue nobody. with me the fact that you're bringing up my name, Tariko, puts me in all this drama. Why the fuck Cameron pulled me outside and he has an issue with the fact that you treated me some type of way in Chicago? When we talk, we don't okay, talk to each other so like that. So, so that's what I'm saying. So me not, like I said, like me processing it and now knowing this is how you talk to your friends, mm -hmm. I can move on with that. Y'all are jealous of what freaking Freck has become, and it's okay, baby. You still be in your seat because you have your friends, and baby, now I got mine. I kind of really wanted to like touch bases with what's going on with you because I know we still have not talked since the uh, networking event. What I said when the Chicago thing, and like I said, Rico can attest to me, I've never said anything bad about you, right. personally. Before all this shit, the circle, right. you my bitch. I'm not sure if you seen how it went down a couple weeks ago, but bitch, I don't need nobody protecting me. Let's just be friends. Troy's your friend, I'm your friend. So we're all gonna be friends, right? Leave that weird shit back in the past because at this point, we gotta move forward. I love you too, baby. Oh, Thank you. Woo! Hey, Josh. 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 Hey, That was a lot to take in. So, um, Cameron, uh, yeah. I'm gonna start off with you. Oh, okay? gee, bro. Now, after Rico with the K got finished performing, mm -hmm. You asked him, where was his good girls, Dominique and Troy? Mm -hmm. It seems like you were trying to be messy in that moment. Now, I could be wrong. Right. So I'm going to ask you, what was the reason behind asking Rico with the K that question, especially since you ended the question with the remark, mm -hmm. I only talk to Dominique anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> you better catch that too. But no, oh, no, I really, I felt like I would have loved to see them there so we could have had this conversation instead of it lingering on. It was not no shade of like, they don't support Rico because I know they support Rico. We've been to Houston, we've been to Chicago and flew out with this man and supported him. So it was not given that, but I really wanted to have that conversation there so it wouldn't be like, it keep going and lingering and it's going through the circle and everybody got their bits and pieces of putting shit in it and it's not what I said. Cause I'm gonna tell you what I said. Cause can't nobody tell nobody what Cameron said. So my thing was I wanted to have a conversation with Troy because I didn't know me and Dominique had an issue. But what's what's the point of asking about Troy if mm -hmm. you don't, according to your own words, speak to him? Well, I mean, I was shady in that moment, but I would have still liked to see him there so we could have had a conversation, period. At the time I was only talking to Dominique. Like me and him have not talked since his birthday, since I sent him his money, you know, for his birthday dinner and we didn't have no words with each other, so. I appreciate that though. No, no problem, babe. Mm -hmm. Now, Cam, what's going on? I will say this, okay? Mm -hmm. 
I liked, I did like how you wanted to talk to uh, Dominique to get a better understanding of y'all friendship. Mm -hmm. I really appreciated that. However, why do it at a networking event? Why not take him out to eat, you know, one on one and have that conversation? I mean, it wasn't a lot going on, so I feel <laughs> like. I Where'd you get like, your head shot? Like, it was a lot okay, going on. Okay, it was on. definitely a lot it going on. It was a lot on. going on. I feel like it was, it was the popping in there. To pull him outside, because I mean, nobody was really talking, nobody was really networking. So I said, let me take my good sis outside mm -hmm. and have a conversation with her. I mean. But that's y'all job to network, ain't it? Huh? As the guest, that's y'all job to network. But you're supposed to also present it? who's here and what business they have, but that nobody that's got your outside. Job. That's, that's your job. That's what ne networking is walking no, in, talking to people. Nobody, nobody, nobody was passing out business cards. That's, that's not my fault. Me. It was a headshot. The event was mm -hmm. called Headshots and Tequila, which we had tequila, a uh, perfect bartender there, and you were supposed to get headshots mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. your business cards. Of for whatever you want to do. So but that's wasn't y'all also that's what saying network, it was a networking it event? It was, a networking oh, is walking okay. into an event. I, I'm, I'm just making sure networking I Networking is walking into an event and okay. having a conversation with people and, and going, have, and going to be it wasn't, I'm, I'm a master at networking, was. I know what it is. Fam, you taught me well. Did you have your know. business card? Oh, yes, I did. Did you pass them out? No, yes, I did. Oh, well, you network. you network. you network. So somebody was networking. You was networking. It was given very much so, if I'm doing a networking event, I'm going to introduce like, hey, this person do this, this person do that. It was not that. It was given very much mixed survive. Like everybody was well, like that. Me, like, help me with the next one. one. Help me with the next well, one. I was, well, I didn't get the invite. So when I got told it was a networking event, that's what I thought it was. So if you didn't get the invite, where did you go? Child, because I got a third party. And then I got a last got minute from invite. Dominique. You the day that. the day before. Just like everybody else that showed up there, they got theirs oh, the day before. Like, so you Jay, did invite. Jay got hers when we talked, when we had our little uh, conversation. So that had to been days before. No, I didn't have it. I didn't have. I didn't have a thing. I got it after when you had a meeting. Yeah, I got, I got it afterwards. Before. And that's what I'm saying. Days minutes. before. Well, if you didn't get your, sorry for throwing you there, but people got theirs days before, and I got mine. Why does that matter? You were invited. Because I, I care if it's the day before. Well, the day once of, again, you, invited, you were still thought of. No, that's fine. And I came to a networking event. That's what I'm telling you. And now that's why I thought it was. It's giving pins and needles, guys. Basically. Oh my god. <laughs> it was a great time. Very much a great time. Coin spent and I had uh, a lot of a lot of people there. A professional a photographer. If you paid your coins, everything. you got your pictures. And you got your pictures, period. It is what it is. All right, well let's move along. Uh -huh, um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Dominique, yes. You said your discretion with Cam was that you heard a lot of he says, she says stuff going on in these streets. Mm -hmm. Why not just pick up that phone and call him to see what was really going on? Child, during that time of my life, I was real childish and petty. <laughs> I just didn't have time. Like, my guard was up coming into this season, and to hear that my brother was one of the people out here, you know, talking about a trip that happened months prior, it was a lot. Troy, mm -hmm. do you think that Cameron is jealous of your relationship with Dominique? I think a lot of people are because... But him, yes, him yes, specifically. Yes, because I feel like that was his friend first. So by the fact that that being his friend first and me and Dominique getting a closer connection, yes. Oh, I ain't jealous of nobody's friends. Okay, I'm going to say hello. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Uh, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> are, are, are you jealous of their friendship? Couldn't be. Are you sure? Could never be. Great. Where do y'all three stand today? I love you. We're good. Hell. We're good. We're good. Me yeah, sure. Cam, yeah. No, we're good. We're, we're great. Going, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, we're yeah. going to the party tomorrow. Yeah, hello, period. <laughs> <laughs> Cam love me and I love Cam. Yeah, and I love Dominique and I love Troy. I love you too, bro. I love you. Love is love, love. Hey, love. Ooh, Ooh, you, you bitches love weird as fuck. We are getting down to some things, but first we got to take a quick commercial break. Don't go nowhere. You are watching Chasing Atlanta, The Reunion. Coming up on the Chasing Atlanta reunion. Me and him were not friends. We were cool. So I got tired of people saying it over and over. And at this point, we've been through so much shit. It's been so much fucking drama. And y'all keep saying that we friends. No, we're not friends. We were fucking. That was it. Mm, okay. Can I can I present you something? Oh, oh my God. I want you to follow along with me real quick. Stop by the exactly. door for a reason. Exactly. So shut the fuck shut, up and let him hold. What that mean? Rico. Bitch, cause I'm uh -huh, the reason you got uh -huh, a storyline, uh -huh. sweetie. The function of your kidney is not normal.
She's coming back. She's coming back. It's your girl Aeon, and you can listen to my podcast, Girl Down Podcast, where I examine my life in the world around me through a black, fat, dark skinned, queer, feminist, intersectional lens. You can listen to my podcast now on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, anywhere you can hear a podcast, girl, I'm there. I want to congratulate the cast and crew of Chasing Atlanta Season 5 for another successful season. So join me on this journey right now. Bye! Welcome back to the Season 5 Chasing Atlanta reunion. Jay Moore and Cameron were one of the many highlights of the season. After Cameron sent that shady letter to the spa event, it went completely downhill from there. Let's dive into how one iconic spa day made a whole storyline. Let's take a look. Now, I'm gonna try to get the girls together for a spa day that's gonna be on me. I'm here for it, let's do it. So the day has finally come, the juice me down spa day. Now, I'm about to show y'all how. Ah, throw it in there. Well, our <laughs> friend, our brother, sister to some, Cameron sent us a little message. He said, hi guys. Unfortunately, I could not make the spa day. I know some of you can't get to the bag, while others are scamming their way to the top and pretending they made it, but they didn't. This raggedy Ninja Turtle looking bitch. <laughs> If you want to send negativity, yeah. you could have called production yeah. and scheduled a scene with someone else. Do I look like damn Cameron? These girls get around a certain amount of people and they want to act different because just a couple of weeks ago you was talking about almost everybody in the group. From what I was told, this wasn't supposed to be your event. It was only supposed to be for Oliver. And not only that, but Cameron tells us he hit Jay up specifically and told him what he was doing. I don't want nobody, you, anybody in this circle to ever feel like I need any of y'all for no fucking storyline. You asked me for a storyline. You came at it talking about, we're filming, we're about to start filming, this is what I'm looking for, this is what I wanna do for my storyline. I'm not trying to say that you tried to use me for a storyline, because if that was the but case- But that's what you give in. That's, you just said it though. That's, it just came out your mouth. If I apologize to you, it's a move on situation. Why are you still harboring something that happened? It, like, I don't get it. Like, it's over with. His ass sat there and was blowing up my fucking phone before he knew that I was coming into this room because he wanted to front and put on a fucking show. At the end of the day, me and Kim were never fucking. Me and Kim were fucking. At the end of the day, we were fucking. That was it. I was giving you the. <laughs> That was it. You been fucking them, huh? That's why the fuck y'all in tour like y'all in tour and that's probably why your ass been feeling the way you been feeling. You have went to a client of mine and told her that you had better shit for her. Oh my God. And please don't say you didn't cause she's sitting right here. Cameron to the left, Jay to the right. I put my shit down when I fucking work. So at this point, y'all wanna be friends? We wouldn't have a friends to begin with. Well, you got your shit fucked up. Cause Drew, you came in the house when you was doing the dress and he was like, well, I mean, can't, where's the fashion? Where's the fashion? I didn't say a single word. No, I threw that, no, 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 no. I don't never, I don't ever been filming with him a lot, but I don't ever hear like the shit that he say, but I hear you talk about him a lot. But get to the meat of the motherfucking matter. When I came to the scoop, I told you I wasn't fucking friends with Kenny because I wasn't fucking close with bitch. I let you in my house. You have been in my house. I don't know how we fucking talk. You fucking sit there and disrespect me. And it took everything in me not to go off. And I started respecting that nigga. That's why I didn't flip. Because y'all know I can fucking flip. Y'all know I can flip. And I was calm as fuck because I still love that fucking nigga. But that's how the fuck you treat me. Like, no, for real, I don't. Karen, what kind of bionic coochie do you got, girl? This is crazy. I don't know what to say, but this is the shit I'll be talking about. Y'all was going to see it for yourself. Oh, my God. Y'all out of control. Oh, 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 oh. Leave oh, my oh, booty oh, cat oh, out of this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's the damn problem. Let's, <laughs> let, let, let's, let's, let's talk about this already iconic spa day event. It was. Now, I, I want to know who really put together the event because, you know, word on the street is that, you know, Oliver put together the event and, you know, Jay was at it later. And some folks say that Jay put together the event and you were at it later. So who put together that? It was 50-50. Well, it was originally his idea. Ooh. It was originally his idea. 
Um, we was at the house. When he came over, we was talking. He was like, I want to do a spa day. And one of my friends had just talked about doing a spa event, whatever. She was like, why don't you do one? Because she does spa services. So I was like, so I brought it. I was like, well, hey, you know, that, uh, whatever. So we said we was going to do it together. Majority of the services that were there was done by Oliver. Um, my friend was the one who did the Yoni boxes, the masseuse, the facial person that was Oliver's people. Originally, I already told him, I said, we already have a location. So it just... It came together, but it was 50-50. Okay, well, it was every event. It wasn't a beautiful, well done event, okay? Um, all was going well at this event until Oliver picked up Cameron's gift and read the message attached to this gift. Ah, Cameron. Yes. Uh, What's going on? You said a <laughs> mouthful to see my girl. <sighs> like, I want to know who on the cast can't get to the bag. Who on the cast is scamming their way to the top? And who on the cast is pretending that they made it? I mean, the cast is here. Hi, cast. You know, you always plead. Hello. <laughs> I mean, now I'm going with Kendra. My lawyer, my attorney told me to be quiet, not to say anything. But no, um, I basically was saying everything that people have said about me about me not getting to the bag. I don't have anything going on, whatever like that, right? So basically, I reciprocated the message. As far as the scam, man, I don't know what these girls do. I mean, I've been hearing, hearing some people getting CPNs and shit, but... Not a CPN. You know, <laughs> but I'm not, you know, gonna tell personal businesses. I'm but, um... What's that? That's bad, a CPN. Why? If you's right in the business. That's what I said, bitch, I heard that's scam. Right. <laughs> but... Majority, the reason for my message behind it, like, honestly, I was talking about, not the scamming part, but I was mostly talking about my good girlfriends over here. He was talking about, uh, TTB. Yeah. So can you oh, name, yeah. name on it? Oh. You say, you say oh, okay. like, well, Troy and Dominique. Yeah. That's who I was talking about in a message, so. Well, next time when you give a message, make sure that it's, like, valid, because I'm, oh. I've been getting to the bag, sweetheart. You've seen that. Now, I have. Well, my check's clear <laughs> then and now, so now, it really don't now. matter. Yeah, I can say And now, it ain't from yeah. no scam coin. Because <laughs> no shade. When it comes to this cast, no shade, we really have been working. And I'm not saying nobody else ain't been working. Yeah. We've been booked, booked. in Man. the city and outside the city. Flights paid for. I think everybody's booked. So. I think everybody's booked. And no shade, everybody, everybody has booked. That's, that's but very I don't do, I don't do don't shit but rattle pot, so I don't know. I don't do shit but rattle, rattle pot. I think everybody on the cast is safe to say. Everybody is booked. And that's how it should be. Y'all know my motto, cut the check. Cut the check. Okay. Right. Jay, I just have one, um, this question for you, really. Um, what did the flowers do to you? I mean, like, girl, like, why not take them home or give them away? Like, why throw out those beautiful roses? You could have made potpourri. Um, honestly, to, to be honest, I was already feeling some way about Cameron before the event. I got word from one of my clients that he had inboxed them. I was like, what? So I looked at the message. He had inboxed them telling them basically, hey, love, I know Jay's expensive, or whatever. Um, when I did that, I made a public post in which Rico Cassadine, um, Oliver, and Cameron was in my inbox. Who are you talking about? Because I said on that post, I was like, um, you the Millie Vanilli of fashion. Don't be coming for a brand that's well-established when the world is still trying to figure out who you are. I went the fuck off. So that was already, I was already feeling some type of way. Then he came up to me at Rico's event and said, you were sending something, but it was negativity and it was supposed to be directed towards me. And I'm just giving you a heads up. I was like, okay, cool. Now, mind you, I'm still new to this group. You done came in apparently and I told everybody we friends and we friends and we friends. So now you got all these new people at my first event and you got them thinking I'm sending out some negative shit and I'm, I'm going to know about it. And then if you really had something to say, you could have said it then. Like, what was the point of even sending it? I, I, I get that, but why direct that anger towards Ike? <laughs> In that moment, I was just going off, and I knew Ike was going to go back and say something. And later on, I did apologize to Ike, because Ike is not camera. I shouldn't have went off on camera, and I did apologize to him. Well, we didn't hear the apology. Can we hear it now? I got apologize for going off for you the way I did, because I did snap. It was just in that moment. I do apologize. Yeah, it's cool. I, I, I took it as a reflex. You know, I, I, when, when he did it, I didn't... It's nothing that he really had to apologize for. I took it as a reflex, so um, I get it. At the same time, I had to let him know, like, yeah, direct it to him, not me. But, uh, Chad, like, I heard everything you said, and I get it, but you already knew the stuff was 
How many? What I was told it was shade towards me when that letter got to be. Let's be honest, the letter was sitting there the whole time. So wait, so shouldn't you be so happy that the shade wasn't towards you? No, because now you, you, you're telling people that we're friends and we all this close friendship. So if there's a letter that's been sitting there the whole entire time at my event, well, I'm sorry, me and Oliver's event, event that has my name on it, whatever, and you sit there and now you're disrespecting people in the room, it's going to seem as if I already know what's going on. So at the end of the day, what I was prepared for was to hear some fake stuff about me. I'm just giving you a heads up, whatever. And that's not what it was. Does it make sense to me? Did anybody else know that the letter was coming? No. No. Uh-uh. Yes. Yeah, Rico shook his head. Yes. You knew? Rico, you knew. I didn't know. I didn't know what was going to be. I knew he was sending right. something. I didn't know what. Which, he, he, he warned me like, yo, there's going to be some shit. And but it's it not for you. No yeah. Yeah. I think the thing is, if he was mad because of the disrespect, even when Cameron told you that it was going to be shady towards you, that's disrespect too. So you should have just said, don't that's say right. shit. No, but when you say it's disrespect towards mm -hmm. me and it's just a show thing, that's just, I feel like you're giving me a heads up. But don't give me a heads up if that's not what it's going to be. But even that's, if he gave, okay, even if he gave you the heads up, the shade is still directed at you. Why, it, why, but why, it's why exactly directed, directed towards me. Directed. It's shade. I'm giving you a heads up. I'm like, okay, whatever. It's a TV thing. It is what right, it is. That's, it, that's, 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 that's a completely, on. that's a completely different, that's a completely different situation. Oh. Now, uh, Rico Cassidy, um, yes, how you doing? Hi, Cameron said that you told him that Jay Amore felt some type of way about Cameron because he felt that Cameron didn't want him to be a part of the group because he's another designer. No, that's not how that came out. When I talked to Jay, Jay told me the whole thing about a storyline. He said that Cameron hit him up about a storyline. I went to Cameron and it was me, Ike and Cameron on the phone. And I told Cameron, I was like, well, girl, be careful because Miss Mama's going around saying that you're trying to use her for a storyline. That's what Rico said. Is that all that he said? I feel like it was more, but... I mean, you think yeah, it, it, I mean, it was I mean, more. That, I mean, I'm just saying what you say. You said that I felt like that I didn't want him to be a part of the show when we were on the phone. And I said, really? I said, well, I'm going to bring it up to him. And you said, that's cool. You know, say what they, they ain't got nothing to do with me, but he said it. And I said, okay, well, I'm going to bring it up to him when we had our sit down. And that's what I did. Um, Jay, what made you think uh, Cameron was using you for a storyline? Okay, so I did have a conversation with Rico Casanar. I didn't say he was using me. I said I felt like he was using fashion. And the reason why I said that was because after we, when I did his re reunion look last season, he was talking about he wanted to do his fashion line. I was bringing his fashion line back up. He wanted him help with it. I was like, okay, cool. Never heard nothing else about it. Then I hear, get another message. Hey, we're getting ready to start filming. Are you filming with another show? I was like, no, because I was on another show at the time. I was like, no, I'm not filming that or whatever. He was like, okay, because um, we got to submit stuff about what we're do talking about and this is what I want to work on. Still had never hit me up to actually sit down and talk about his clothing line, what he knew, what he needed assistance with, nothing. So then once again, I hear something, he hit me up again. Hey, we're doing such and such and such, da da da. But there was never a time in which you actually want to sit down and talk about your brand, what you wanted to do, anything else. So for me, in my eyes, in my perspective, and my, mind you, this is the only thing that I know is from what he's messaging me. I don't know anything about his personal life, what he was going through, anything. But it, every time that you message me, it's about filming and you wanting to do fashion, but you haven't actually hit me up to say, hey, let's sit down and let's work on something, or hey, this is what I need assistance with, anything like that, then to me, it comes across as a storyline and not you actually wanting to do it. Because it makes sense, Cameron, like if, if you hit him up asking him for help, just when the cameras are around or, or when the cameras are potentially but gonna be around, what you don't follow up with what you need, but what I fabric have. you need, what time, he's saying you haven't. But I have. When? And I, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny because I could have overlooked but I, it, but, but when? Because it's been times in our messages where I sit, said something to him and I didn't get a response until a week later. You feel what I'm saying? So it's not giving all. Oh, Cameron, I no. wanted to just do this for filming. I've been doing this since the beginning. So I don't need you for Cameron, filming when? purposes is what I'm saying. You feel what I'm saying? I have other shit going on. So because I did not hit you up or follow up after the, the text message was not consistent, did not mean I wasn't serious about my craft. I have people that I am managing, doing PR work, doing behind the scenes with movies and shit. So it's just like, you're not the only person. So maybe, yes, I got sidetracked. Okay, you know what I'm say saying? I can say that, but don't sit here and say I'm, I'm using it for filming purposes. I don't give a fuck about that. Could you see how from his, his viewpoint though, that it came across as a storyline? Like put your, 
Put your mind, like, put, put yourself in his shit. I am, and I still don't see it. We are, we calling people to fit with folks when we doing shit, like, we are, kind of, like, shit, I didn't want, I'm not using Kendra if I want to showcase that I'm cooking some shit and I invite her and Wayne over to the crib. That wasn't for no storyline. That's the oh, show what the fuck I do. So like, ultimately, yeah. we could call any damn battle to show mm -hmm. up to any damn thing. It, we do it, so. No, but I said that, I, I, I said, you could have gotten help from anybody. I'm not saying I'm the best and you only have to come from me. You could have gotten help from anybody. But that's beneficial for both of y'all, honestly, if you look at it. And what I do want to mention, and not taking up for Cameron, but for us who've been here, when it's time for us to film, they do send us an email saying what y'all gonna do. And we have to say specifics. Yeah. We have to say, we want to do X, Y, and Z. We want to do this. The same message that he sent him, I've done myself saying, hey, I'm finna get ready to film. Do y'all want to do this? That's, that, that is something that is common with what we do on the show, yeah. But, do, but you're so right. You know how to sell on it? Yeah. No, that's why I hit him up. Oh, so yeah. got it. I'm just saying, for myself, if we're cool and we came on here being cool, why would you feel like I'm using you for a storyline? That's it, period. You've been fucking now. <laughs> you know. Cameron, your coochie got the girls going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Cameron, I, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, what made you say fuck it? I'm just gonna tell the group that I was having sex with Cameron. I got tired of everybody who's saying we're friends, we're friends, we're friends. Y'all were friends, y'all was friends, y'all was friends. Me and him were not friends. We were cool. So I got tired of people saying it over and over. And at this point, we've been through so much shit. It's been so much fucking drama. And y'all keep saying that we friends. No, we're not friends. We we're fucking. That was it. Mm, okay. Can I can I present you something? Oh, oh my god. Yeah. I want you to follow along with me real quick. Yeah. You ready? Ooh. You ready? So you see the Facebook Girl, message back hey. in February 4th of 2018, right? So since I'm not a designer, but you asked for one of my pieces that I made, right? Okay, one. I mean, we had not met in, uh, in person at that you, point. You I that? straight up did. Do you, see, do you see that? Do what it say? Do, can I get that mess piece from your collection, right? Okay. I did. Period. I messaged you and said All that. Right. I sure did. Pa pass them, pass them down, Tiffany. Read, you can just read through it. Pass it around if you need to. See, y'all read it out loud. Can somebody read it out loud? But anywho, like I said, if we're not friends and you're always hitting me up asking me or we're not cool what I'm doing tonight. Let's pass it on, Dan. Um, you invited me to your birthday. I don't think I will invite a random bitch to my birthday dinner at all, right? It's in there, too, if y'all need to see her as well. Um, you also see us going to meet up at R&B Mondays at door right 54. Here. You see that? Do you, you see, see the right date there? gaps in between Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about the dates, baby. I said we were cool. Did I not say that? Y'all look like friends to me. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is a gap. It is gaps in between. I wouldn't text a bitch that much that I'm not cool with at all. I'm sorry. It's giving friendship, but what's the resolution? Nothing. All right. And with that, with that being said, child, that was a lot. We gotta take a commercial break. We'll be right back. Woo! <laughs> Coming up on the Chasing Atlanta reunion. You just say thank you because I gave you something because that story, that dry ass storyline with camera was not going nowhere. What you did wrong was you sat there and lied in front of thousands of people because everything that you said I said about you, you said to me in Houston, Texas last year when we had a show, baby boy. June 7th, hey, can Kendra come to the studios? Um, can Kendra come to the studio? June um, 15th, hey, bitch, I'm many things on the show. I'm a bitch, but I don't lie and I don't try to set nobody up. Don't sit here and lie on me. We gotta move it's, yeah, we can move. because you are invited to the Twix Takeover in Cancun, Mexico. Hosted by your favorite nerd, me, Oliver Twix, with my friends Lauren England and Quentin T. Harris. February the 10th through the 14th, 2023. It's a five-day all-inclusive stay at one of the finest five-star resorts in Mexico, Rio Palace Costa Mujeres. Treat yourself to a luxury stay with beach access, 
fine dining, unlimited drinks, on-site attractions, spa amenities, and daily activities hosted by the power of three, including a free masterclass on business, content creation, and marketing. And yes, everything is included. All you have to do is book your flight and show up. Now for this week only, you can lock in the early bird rate right now with a $50 deposit before the price goes up on July 22nd. Visit www.twixtrip.com, that's right, twixtrip.com now to book your package and for more details. See you there. Atlanta season five reunion. Let's dive right in. Before we get started, we want to bring in Drew Friday. Hey, Drew. Hey, Drew. How y'all doing? Whatever. You look amazing. I'm good. Thank you, girl. From being friends in the scenes to telling the honest truth down in the confessionals. Dominique, Troy, Kendra, and Wayne have always had their share of the mess. Oh, from, I'm gonna walk them like a dog to these bitches want that smoke. Ooh. Let's take a look at this oh. trial. When it comes to me, I don't know, Wayne kind of like, for one, I got on my leather gloves and I, I kind of be really sensitive about my whole like engagement situation. He was like, where your ring at? Why are you concerned about my ring? Manage Kendra. Baby, get her better dresses, a better wig, girl. Like, goddamn. Maybe I was saying, like, he wasn't really like saying Ooh, anything. Man. You and Troy. I love Troy. I don't know if you've seen it, but I ain't want to bring no bad Ooh. energy your way, Wayne. This one you call, you know, Kendra out her name, mm -hmm. but y'all move past that now. And then he said, I, I tried to warn you once before, but nobody want to listen until it's too late. Too late Who's for when? If you're a manager, manage. So worry about Kendra and why she has only 5,000 followers on Instagram. Wayne, why you feel like you need an apology from me? And why are you posting me on your Instagram? Wait, 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 oh my God. Uh, you want attention and you're not gonna get it from me. Who know if you post somebody, they gonna feel a type of way now. I got his attention, didn't I? My thing is with you, you feel like you're not seen, you feel like you're not hurt, because let me tell you. I never listen, asked listen, to be listen, seen listen, listen. No, but, but that's what you keep saying. It's not that I don't see you or I don't wanna see you. I don't you. care who let me tell you. Wait, my, no, no, no. my point is exactly, that's my point. You on this cast, the only reason you came back to this motherfucking group, bitch, is because of me. Calm down, bro. Oh, oh, you not. Not. Oh. Come on now, you doing too much now. That orange wig on your head does not make you little Kendra from last year. And we just talked about this shit at my home. Well, y'all should have dealt with it at your home yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. My house, my house. They was at my house. You piping up now. Nobody else piping up now, bitch. Piping up that first. If you love Kendra and you love Kendra, y'all gotta squash this shit for Kendra. Sister, ain't nobody gonna do nothing to you. You damn right, and all gonna do I'm just saying. I believe in Kendra. I love Kendra, and I hate that she had to be in between what the fuck we got going on. Some fuckers arguing about stupid ass shit. I'm just gonna try to. I try to help. Girl, the children is out here driving wild. Hey, I'm just done. Like, I need a break. Right. But Dominique, I, I see you reaching, honey. Cause you know, I see you reaching and you you really want a storyline. I know the skate rink was crazy. Cause of your home girl dropping this song. I'ma walk her like a doll, like yeah. the doll she grew. Should uh -huh. I walk her like a doll, like the doll she grew? But yeah. what the get in front of these cameras, honey? And y'all be switching up and shit. But let me tell you something, home. You better watch your step, honey, and watch your motherfucking feet. <laughs> Dominique, here we go. You were confused to why Kendra uh, was still performing her smash song, Free Lil Kendra, because sure. because her and Oliver Twix, you know, they 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 squashed their issues from last year. You know, they moved on. Mm -hmm. You stated why relive the past. However, um, you were in that audience rapping the song bar for bar, word for word. It's so, a good ass song. So you didn't look that bothered to me. I know. I mean, this day is, and it's not should have stayed out of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oliver, does um, can't you performing the song bother you? Mm -mm. I take it as an honor. If someone has a diss song about me. I think it's dope. Okay, Kendra, make the money. Okay. okay. Dominique, when Wayne asked you where was your ring at, mm -hmm. did that question trigger you because you were having? problems in your relationship at yes. the time? Yes. 
you told Wayne to mind his business, which is fine, mm -hmm. but you managed to throw shade at Kendra in that statement. Why the shade towards Kendra? Again, at that time, I was being childish. Um, and Kendra, I do want to apologize for that. I do. I, I do. Would love to see it. So I don't know if you want to accept it, but I really do mean it. That's a sad thing. Yeah. After I, I just, I just want the best <laughs> for you, and that's just what it is. Yeah. Lena, have no response to that, Kendra? Never, Lena. Oh. Miss Kendra, um, why wasn't Troy invited to your performance? Performance. Was it because Troy and Wayne didn't resolve their issue from last year, or was it simply an oversight? And it's funny she said Neverland because now they on that bullshit. So I'm gonna go ahead and say what I got to say. Oops. Nobody on this cast showed up, and everybody was invited and not showed up. So it can be Neverland. It definitely can be. I now it's Neverland. Neverland was just girl. I'm, whatever. I'm done with that situation. Yeah, me too. Now back to you. Let me go and start this. Um, <laughs> uh, since I've been on this this show and everything, I, I've had a lot of respect for Dominique. Dominique and Rico, I had respect. You can't pull up one receipt while I've tried them. Now, true enough, yeah, I probably ain't been my best, at my best, and to have problems with, with, the, with the viewers and everything, and I'm always getting attacked from my image and, and, and what I do, but I push through, and it hurted me real bad that that came from Dominique. It, it's like, damn, you too? Mm -hmm. Like, that was a dagger, Dominique. And I, I'd have never did you like that. And I love you. That's why I didn't put the diss song out. I didn't even finish it. Cause I fuck with you. And as time went through and I saw what you was going through, I know why you did that, Gemini. I hear you. You hurt and it's okay. I'm hurt too. We could be fucked up people when we hurt, but just watch out for that. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. My, my question still wasn't answered. Um, why wasn't Troy invited to your performance? First of all, uh, Troy, was in, he's invited to anything I do. Um, even though they had their differences, I, I don't know if, if people know what it's like to be in the middle, you know? Mm -hmm. And it, it was draining me so much because I've been saying it. Even when it was asked, What's, you and Troy got, no, I love Troy. You and Dominique got to put, no, I love Dominique. You, it, like, I, I really tried my hardest to, to stay out of things this season. And it's just like, shit, shit is coming my way. You know, it's like, damn, I'm damn if I do, I, I'm damn if I don't. Right. But I fuck with Troy and I love him. I love you too, Kenny. And, and you know, he probably didn't make it there, but he made it to other shows. He said he wasn't, you said you weren't invited. Yeah, I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't get an invite to it, but I mean, I, I, under, I, I took it as if, like you said, me and Wayne haven't hadn't resolved our issues and she didn't want me to come there in that space but her saying that you know I'm always invited I mean I take that as a I'm cool like I said I love Kendra I've always loved Kendra I'm a stand period you sure you didn't seem too cool at the time no I didn't because I was upset because me and Kendra had already resolved our issues like prior to like what last year so me not being invited then I, I was a little upset but then hearing this night now and understanding I'm okay with it but like I said I still you know I, I support Kendra so you know, oh, I love to see it. Okay, let's let's move along. Okay, let's go for that. Uh, Wayne, what made you post on Instagram the clips from the huge brawl from last year with the caption, "I tried to warn you once before, but nobody wants to listen until it's too late." Why post that? <laughs> like I said, I wanted to get Troy's attention. Um, he had reached out to Kendra about doing the benefit concert, so it was just like I. Uh, you know, we didn't never resolve nothing, and I didn't want to put in the work for Troy if we didn't, you know, clear the air. So, to get his attention, I put it up on Instagram. That's the only way I knew to reach him. Because even when I tried to call him, he'd be like, oh, who is this? Hello? So I'd be like, I didn't have what? any, I really didn't have nobody number saved in my phone. So I was like, just like, you yeah, know. I had Kendra number saved, but, you know, we got to call you to get through to Kendra. To the cast, did you guys take uh, Wayne's post as a uh, shade? I'm gonna start with Aaron Thomas. Did you take it as a yes or no? Really quickly. Cool, cool. No. <laughs> Jay Moore, yes or no? I thought it might have been something behind it. I didn't know what it was. Hi. I just thought it was promo. Kendra. Camera. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I thought it was a little shade. Yeah. Oliver. Mm -hmm. Nick. Yes. Well, I already know what you think. Mm -hmm. Miss Smella. I didn't pay a lot of attention to it. I had just heard about it. Okay, Rico with a cat. Uh, I'm gonna say yeah as well. Yeah. Rico Cassidy. All right, thank you. Um, Drew, um, sweetie, sissy pal, I'm a little <laughs> confuzzled, honey. 
Why did you feel the need to voice your opinion in this situation that had absolutely nothing at all to do with you? Like, why so much fever towards Wayne as you say, Diddy bop it all in the video? Did you really just see the dance? <laughs> um, no shade, no tea. I do want to apologize to my sister because I did, I did throw slight. Shade. It was slight shade towards her and what I said, and I did not mean that, and I should have not done that to her. So, Kendra, I apologize to you privately. I did it publicly, so I want to apologize to you publicly as well. I am sorry, sister. Um, I love you, sister. Um, it's my opinion on Wayne. I was asked my opinion. Should I have properly minded my business? Probably so. No, I probably should have said, I plead the fifth. That ain't my monkey, that ain't my circus. And just should mosey on about my way. Yeah, you gave a lot of unnecessary opinions uh, this season, and we're, we're going to get into all of them. But um, I don't feel like I gave a lot of unnecessary opinions. I'm just a Leo. I, if you're going to ask my opinion, I'm going to give you my opinion. Or if I feel, I feel like I'm comfortable enough with you to give you my opinion, I'm going to give you my opinion on the matter. Now, do I think that now in hindsight, like now, do I think that sometimes those opinions need to be said? Probably not. They could just stay in my head with the other five voices that I had and just we had that conversation with most of each other and I just leave it there. Okay, well I'm glad you apologized to uh Miss Kendra over here because you did call her ashy and uh and she doesn't look ashy to me, darling. She loves oh, she she like, oh, wow. I have my mom, man. <laughs> oh. Dominique, why did you decide to call Wayne out about his Instagram post at the Spa Day event in front of everyone here? Why not pull him to the side and have that conversation? And why were you so damn angry in that moment? Because that bitch had me fucked up. And he had my sis fucked up. You don't do that. He knew what he was doing. You do it on public, on a public platform. When we get in front of the group, I'm not gonna see you other than this anyway. So I ain't waiting. First of all, it had nothing to do with you. Okay, but I had talked to it you about it, anything. and I talked to you, you about it again today. Over there, there looking like a flower child, like, headed to the disco. Like, why are you worrying about yes, me? Yes, no I'm just you letting you know what you want to do. That's why Anthony's gone. Okay, and that's exactly. fine. Exactly. And, and that's Stop fine. And that's why you fucking on a nigga while you got one. So what you worry about? There you go. Worrying about the thing again. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Just like you just jumped in my shit. And Anthony's gone by choice. Make that be very clear. Anthony's gone by choice. And girl, shut the fuck up. Exactly. Next question. Exactly. Wait, wait, wait. Next Hold on, question. Let me say something. I never asked Dominique about any ring. I'm in a club, a packed club. Yes, you were. Why you were drunk as fuck, and you did ask me about my ring. ring. You was exactly. drunk as a fucking you skunk in that club with a backwood hoodie go. on, not so looking what? like nobody's so manager, what, baby. Bitch. What? Baby, next question. And I ain't calling you baby. I'm talking about a little baby because that's what you okay. look like. Okay, and thank you. And you need to look <laughs> younger yourself you because like. you look way older exactly. than your age. So Why you so still what? got this fucking you right out of your head? Girl, fuck you. Next question. Smoke, because I'm gonna smoke your ass when I see y'all in the street. When I see you, honey, don't worry about it. I see you. Smoke me. I got you. some attention, bitch. Why you over there trying to be me? You never want no boots, bitch. You see me come around. You shut the fuck up too. Who wants to be you? You want to be first of Troy was the host, and then you try to steal his job. Y'all by the door for a reason, so shut the fuck up and let him host. What that mean, bitch? Because I'm the reason you got a story. Uh -huh. Next question. That's why you're sitting there because Next of me. Question. You should uh, you should say thank you because I gave you something because that story that dry ass storyline with Cameron was not going nowhere. That dry ass storyline with Anthony was gone anyway. Come on, baby. We gotta move this along. Uh, exactly. Move along. Thank you. Jeez. You scream. It's giving perk thirty. Do you honestly think he's on drugs? She Do you honestly think he's on drugs? Do I honestly think he's on drugs? Let me see. Mm-hmm. I don't see how she can see with them eyes so long. Honey, you see me? Bitch, you smoke too. You, Shut you, the you, fuck you, up. So what? Bro, smoking don't do what you be doing, sweetie. Uh, exactly. what, what do I do? Because all that leaning and rocking, you doing everything, bitch. That ain't weed. Honey. Yes, honey. I do think all he's on drugs. Wait, the answer is yes. Wait, are you on drugs? No, I'm not on drugs. I do smoke marijuana every day. Okay, so why they coming to me about my eyes being low? It don't make sense. Because like the math not mathing, so they need to shut the fuck up. Like in her thirties, giving honey, bitch canceled. The best job. No, bitch, you're canceled. Never been. You see no, me, baby. You see the comments. You see me. You're canceled. You see me. You see me. If you doing me such of a favor, like why your followers not growing? Oh, they are. What are you they doing? Are. I'm why aren't you booked? 
Oh, fuck? bitch, I was booked before the show. Something it's you weren't. Girl, and you are they paying you? You got show. free gigs, okay. girl. You give out free I'm gigs. Girl, I'm booked, bitch. I fly out more than you do. Girl, uh, I haven't seen it. Girl, go uh, get a, a book. Oh, uh, yeah. Nigga, he's bitch. seen it. Girl, shut the fuck up. <laughs> get it the, takes get, two. Give a Jerry Curl to a poochie, please. Oh. It will. Oh. Okay, do it that. And maybe fix that little ant bed on your head, hey. too. Okay, that's enough. Hey. Girl, you got on sneakers. Yeah, just in case. You might want to leave me alone, bitch. Rico, we got to know what you're doing under there. She wore the Now, Wayne. Wayne. Yes. You said to Troy at the spa day event, we're up. We're not going to do any business with you, period. Now, as management, do you really think that is the right call? You know, you and Troy's issue have nothing to do with Kendra at all. So why potentially stop Kendra's bag over a personal matter? This is business. Well, my job is not to put my artist into a position where she could be potentially hurt again. And I mean, last year you see what happened. So why would I put my artist in harm's way? But we were we already better though. Clear the air. We were already better. We had me and Kendra clear the air. Me and you just didn't clear the air. So I feel like. Um, but you know, Kendra's just not. You know, she have a whole group of people behind her that's in her ear every day. So it's. Instead of you clearing it the right way, you cleared it in a way that nobody seen or no. We had we had a whole conversation on the show. <laughs> it was clear via right. via but chasing saying, reality. You, so where Kendra, did we and you not sit down at um the end at the all white event upstairs and have a conversation? We talked. Yeah, we, we talked that day. He's when last he, year. I think he's talking about y'all. Yeah, like us, like yeah, me and him. But what what he's saying is, why would he stop your bag because of his issue with me? Me and you don't have an issue. So right. if I and if I'm inviting you to do something that is for the community, that is going to be uplifting, it shouldn't have been a, even a question or a thought. It should just been a yes, she can do it because this is this is for this cause. Because I'm pretty sure if BET called and you was into it with BET CEO, I bet you wouldn't shut her down and be like, oh no, she can't do it because at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure at that point, Kendra's going to be like, oh well, girl, but you're not what you saying, I'm going. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Exactly. It doesn't matter. Well, what I'm saying is, Kendra has hairstylists. She has people that design her. She has makeup artists. She has background dancers. She has other people that work for her and under her. And at that point, these people was like, "Why would we put ourselves in a predicament where we could have something thrown at us or be disrespected?" If I'm with Kendra every day and when you see us together and you disrespect me like that, why would we want to bring other people in and have them treated the same way? And that's how I felt at that time. And I definitely would not want nobody that worked for Kendra or worked with us to have to go through what I went through dealing with Troy. Got it, we gotta move along. Oliver, a lot of the messy questions at Ike's event were being ignored or like brushed to the side. But for some reason, Sissy Bob, you made it a priority to revisit them. And not too long after, all hell broke loose. You talking about the one with Wayne? What was the purpose of revisiting, yes, what was the purpose of revisiting the messy uh, questions? Well, um, it was multiple questions, it wasn't just the one yeah, with Yeah, 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 no, definitely. Uh, the one with Wayne in particular, we were supposed to hash that out at the spa event, right? Um, but it went crazy. So I was like, okay, well maybe it's been some time, it's a new day, maybe we can talk through this like we've done before, like last year at the reunion. I'm still thinking like everybody's still on the energy from the last time we were together at the reunion where we were talking about it and stuff like that. And honestly, I had shared with Troy, I really did feel like Wayne was wrong and I felt like it does add a certain stain in the group when he does things like that on social media. Um, so I was really just trying to facilitate a conversation and trying to, you know, trying to mediate and whatnot, but maybe. No, I'm glad you did. Cause now me and Troy are good, and we went to the event. So it had, worked. Yeah, it did. Oh, you seen okay. it? It had a great, <laughs> great time. Great, great. Yeah. I, it did. Yeah, me. Uh, it may have, but it started some more shit though. Well, and see, and here's the thing: everyone up here is grown. Everyone pays taxes. Everyone has their own social security number. Whatever happens on this show and what people choose to do with that is their business. I've been on this show for three years. People have taken out weapons on me. People have thrown bowls at me. People have said some crazy shit to me on this show, but I'm never getting up, putting on my hands, yelling, screaming, all of that, because that's a choice I make. So if someone makes a choice to act up, get up, scream, start some shit, or let the drama continue, they do. 
when my questions get asked, everybody can say, Oliver, shut the fuck up. We don't want to do it. But people participated because it's a camera rolling and we're sitting here and that's what they want to do. I don't have no responsibility for what anybody chooses to do because they are grown. I'm not Xavier. I'm not in no bitch head saying, get up, scream, holler, do this. No, we all ask questions on the show. So I can't take responsibility for that. Do I ask questions to spur a conversation? Yes, this is Chasing Atlanta, girl. They told me talk about weed and hell. We got to talk about the stuff. But it's never my intention for people to fight or anything like that. So you don't think- Weed and her. I do ask messy questions. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, you were really uh, over it while the chaos was happening between Wayne and Troy. You were tired of them basically talking about the same issue over and over again. So you interjected and added your two cents. Now, I'm not you, so I can't tell you what your aggression, you know, what aggression looks like on you. But watching back on TV, you did seem to be Becoming at Wayne, you know what I mean? You don't think you were coming at him looking back at the, sh at the episode? No. Not at all. Think no, you were no. really calm. Um, um, we literally had had this conversation the day before. Like, the day before. And I told him I understood where he was in the whole situation, as well as me understanding where my friend was in the situation. And I was on the side of the right. And he had express some things to me about what he felt like where he felt like he could have been better in the situation so when we turn around to come back over here and we in another situation and the story is different now now i'm looking at you like well no nah, because we, we we got this settled yesterday and when i said something to him it wasn't saying something like oh i'm finna check you it was saying something to him like if we gonna be cool because i fuck with her for damn show he come with her i fuck with wayne so if we gonna be cool we, sh we ought to be able to tell each other when we how long friend that ain't right because no shade. When he was telling his story the whole damn time, everybody kept telling this one to be quiet. Mm -hmm. Everybody wouldn't let this one say a word. Mm -hmm. But no soon as this one started talking, mm -hmm. they let him step in and say whatever the hell he wanted to say mm -hmm. while this one was talking. Mm -hmm. So when I stepped in and said what was right now, all of a sudden I'm wrong in this motherfucker. But everybody else can say whatever they want to say that they feel is right. No, that shit was right. Mm -hmm. If you're going to let one motherfucker talk about their grievances, you got to let the, the next one talk. And that's all I was saying to him. And me and Wayne had a conversation right after that. And I'm like, you big brother. If we can't talk about it, whatever the case, contrary to what he said in his confessional, that wasn't the case at that, at that, at that thing because me and him had squashed it and went on about our business. And then it went on and tumbled on into me and I getting into it. But did I feel some type of way towards Wayne? Not had no reason. That wasn't my issue. I'm looking at you like, come on now. We just talked about this yesterday. Go and do what you said you was going to do or go and do what we talked about. Because this, right, this shit right here is dragging on. But no, did I feel like, did you feel like, you really feel like I was coming at you? Um, I would say... Only thing that kind of, the way you amped up, it kind of threw me off. I mean, we're just getting to know each other. I can't expect you to react how I will react. So, I mean, that's the only issue. And I respect that, and I'm sorry you, you feel like I came up. But this is what I'm going to say. You seen how I turned up on Ike. That damn show wasn't nowhere near what you got. So you right. see what I do when I turn right. up. My that wasn't team, what you got. I mean, so I that wasn't, that seen, wasn't me turning up. That's the first time ever being around each other like that. And then for everything to, you know, get heated, you know? Yeah. I, this big brother, like I did, that was that was done, that was done then. Okay. In the heat of the in the heat of the moment, Willa, you yelled, "We just spoke about this at my home yesterday." To which I <laughs> said, "We should have kept it at, at your home." Exactly. Okay. And from there, all hell broke loose. Memphis, Tennessee, was un. Leashed. Damn right. <laughs> what was it about Ike's statement that uh, caused you to flip the fuck out? I didn't bring the shit to his event. I didn't come in that motherfucker and say, oh, Wayne. You want to talk to Troy? Oh, Troy. This is in, in, in my defense. This is why I hit Troy car because I was the last motherfucker to arrive. He was not supposed to be there. So when that bitch came, I had moved my car over and forgot that I moved my car over. But I was the last bitch to pull up. So when I floored that hoe out there parking lot, I wasn't expecting this bitch Nissan to be right there. Point blank in the period for the girls in the back that said I was drunk or whatever the fuck them hoes had to say. But as far as I was concerned about the whole thing, I didn't bring it over there. And no shade to my sister, I love my sister down, but that bitch had been jumping in the house, so everybody had been erupting all over the house, and it was no problem. That was Her a crazy Rico night. Cassandra had Ooh, that a whole was a crazy one, night. two days somewhere talking. This was happening, it wasn't no problem. It wasn't no problem until Willa said something, because Willa went too far. But I'm, I just want to know how y'all look at me, because if I'm a trans woman, 
Y'all men in this motherfucker. So if you seen a man coming at me and I'm going toe to toe with a man, where was any of y'all to defuse that shit? Y'all sat around and uh-uh, sat around and watched and said I did too much. But I am a woman out here by myself that take care of me. Right. So if I feel like I want to defend me the way I want to defend me against a nigga, right. I'm gonna do it. Which and I don't give a fuck what none of you hoes got to say. Which I agree with you. Honestly, I agree with you. Like, I totally like, agree uh, with you. What I was saying, Troy, 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 I was trying to, cause I. Wayne was showing out. Wayne was saying stuff that was ag that was agitating the situation. And so yeah, when did, I was saying Troy, 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 I was did. like, you blowing up is going to cause more to blow up. Let, let's get Wayne, because Wayne is acting up right now. Don't feed into what he's doing. Willa is absolutely right, but it's like, how can anybody say anything or do anything and everybody is just starting to scream? But, like, and, I was and let me say this too. Ike is the one that showed me that he understand what a man is to do with a woman because that's what we talked about in our apology and we just got caught up in the heat of it. But I'm talking about the other men on, this, on these couches and shit in here that was at that motherfucking event that didn't step up and say shit but want to come on and, and the back and the afterwards and she doing too much. She doing too much. Now I ain't doing enough. Wait, hold on. At that moment, I still tried. The man was a little scared. Ike, were you scared? No, I wasn't scared, but I, I don't know why. I want to know, do, do people look at what I did or my reaction to her elevating her voice and me elevating mine with her? Did it come off like I was about to attack her? No, no. So I don't, th that's why I don't, I don't think you, no. you needed like help because I wasn't about to attack her. Oh, no, I didn't say nothing about me needing help. I did. That's no, I definitely didn't need help. Well, Will, I had an issue. I got an issue with you that night. What's wrong? When you walked your happy ass by me, I asked for a hug. <laughs> and I ain't get my motherfucking hug. So can I get my motherfucking hug? <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. You are watching the Chase in Atlanta season five reunion, baby. Woo! Coming up on the Chasing Atlanta reunion. I was messaging her, messaging you, emailing y'all weeks before I had to turn this in. I was messaging y'all a week before I had to do this, trying to get y'all in. You and I wanted y'all to put it. me after you put it, the preview out. That is not true. And the fans that were saying, true. where's Kendra? That is not true. Then, that is not true. I messaged everybody before I, I messaged you did. everybody before I put Come the preview now. out. I know you're Come fucking on. lying. Oh, take this your fucking problem away, and I love you. I'm saying it's take responsibility that you just fucked up. And then you sit here in line and say, I didn't reach out to you when I did. Weeks before, three weeks. What's up, everybody? I am R. Wayne, the CEO of RWYN Creative Management. Are you an artist, a musician, a model, a content creator? Do you think it's time for management? Let us help you move your career to the next level. Reach out to us at our website, rwyninc.com. I can't wait to work with you. Back here at the Chasing Atlanta season five reunion, okay? Do you need 60 seconds became one of the popular phrases from the season while thinking caps became another. A friendship that went downhill due to tardiness and stirring up the pot is what we're about to get into next. Let's take a look. Don't sit here and say, oh, well, you weren't there. You can't have an opinion on it. You asked for that opinion. Do you need 60 seconds? I don't know how much time you need. You have an issue with an opinion that I had that you asked for. You asked for that opinion. I still haven't had the opportunity like, to really get to know, mm -hmm. like I really don't know Aaron. Who is Aaron Thomas? From what I heard, Aaron Thomas is was his original name. He changed his name once he became LGBTQ RP oh. artist. I, I heard you can Google it. Who would you 
room with like a Troy or like, like Troy. a me. Troy's been ghost to me, but I like Troy. We talked earlier this year, we vibed a little bit and it just didn't work out. Kind of gave me like take care of him type vibes and I ain't nobody sugar daddy, you feel me? <laughs> Some people felt like you knew that he had the maze. I felt you you not understanding. You're trying to say you literally trying to carry about everything else. It's not giving that. You know it's bullshit because your own mouth and tongue are turning against you right now. You can't even get the shit out correctly. So so you know you so, so you never knew about 8:30. No. You honestly think that I'm gonna come here and wait around four to five hours for free. Let's start there. I'm getting tired of it. It's like I'm trying to be your friend. I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. Oh, oh I'm like, God, Wayne. I'm like, motherfucking thinking cap, goddamn. Thinking caps. Everybody's fine, she it been. Mm-hmm. Especially you with your question asking. So it's just <laughs> now you will say that real quick talking about something. Well, if y'all not gonna do whatever, then we're gonna Well, because you know. what we're gonna <laughs> And I get in the shit to say it straight because I'm quite frankly done with the bullshit. And you know what, Miss Willow? That's how you get a bitch together. <laughs> I think after watching that, I think we all need a 60 seconds. Yeah. We all need 60 seconds. Okay. Even Oliver, do you need 60 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> the tea, honey. Aaron Thomas, okay. So uh, you you ch you changed your name, brother? Are you hiding from the government? What's so going on? So actually, Aaron Thomas is my full government. Um, I chose to use my artist name. At the time, during my transition, I wasn't all the way comfortable with myself as coming out. It was a story that went viral that I had no idea that was ever gonna happen. So to me, I was like, you know what, look, if you're gonna do this, you gotta do this the authentic way. Um, so I kept my household name, um, and I guess Troy didn't get a chance to read through the line. So um, yeah, that's what that was about. I'm glad you brought up Troy. Troy Reading is fundamental. Uh, <laughs> were, were you really looking for a sugar daddy in Arizona? No, I wasn't looking for a sugar daddy. My, oh, man, has, sure? my man has an Air Max. I don't need a sugar daddy. Oh. I get what I want when Sound I want. Sound sugar daddy. No shade. I mean, he's not older than me, so he's not a sugar daddy. I'm just saying. I, I, but no, I don't need a sugar daddy. I'm, and I'm why, why, why did you think he was looking? Oh, um, we had some time off cam, um, and I could just tell when somebody wants to be taken care of. Um, I made the title sugar daddy because that's that's basically. The, I don't think it's nothing wrong with having a sugar daddy. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? Somebody wants to spend, they're gonna spend their coins. You know what I'm saying? Um, when I when I displayed that, when somebody asked me about an experience about a person, I'm gonna fully tell you, like I'm, as a Virgo, as who I am as a person, it wasn't to diminish him as a, a person, his character or nothing like that. It was just like, hey, boom, that's your vibe, I ain't with it, you know what I mean? I was interested once, but that kind of made me like, okay, I gotta fall back. That's all it was. I don't know, you seem really interested in him still at that cast. He's still he can, he can, I mean, at the end of the day, listen, I love it. I love every bit of it, you know what I'm saying? There are people that have certain impacts on me. I still find him attractive. He's attractive today. Kill him, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get keep a word on the curb and word in the street, the TTB streets, is this, okay? Oh, oh. I heard that uh, somebody in the cabin shacked or whatever. They was fucking. Who was fucking uh, in the cabin? Yeah. A few oh. hoes. Was it you and Troy? It definitely wasn't us. And no, you know, I, I was in the room with you. It was yeah, a few hours fucking in the cave. Mm -hmm. um, oh, but okay. it didn't happen so, for whatever reason. So it wasn't, it wasn't you and Troy? No, it wasn't me. Well, bitch, I'm Drew ass. Oh, 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 look oh, away. What? Then now, yeah, y'all was in there. Wait, you <laughs> serious? No. Oh, no. We ate. You ate this. No, that's true. She put whipped cream. We was playing body shots and whipped cream. No, we did a lot of body shots. Yeah. We did a lot. We did a lot. It was it was Willis Cabaret. So anything that went on in Willis Cabaret really stayed in Willis Cabaret. So I'm only speaking on Willa. So what Willa did was took moonshine a uh, shot out of Drew's ass. Drew, you let you let Willa off her home. You let Willa drink. <laughs> So wait, That's so it's safe. Hold on, hold on. So it's safe to say we might get a Chase in Atlanta season five, uh, OnlyFans edition. Oh, yeah. no, it wasn't no camera. If they want, it was, it was, it was, it was no, no camera. camera. No, I shut that down yeah, immediately. Not even y'all. Okay. No, no. no. I said production go to sleep. Y'all no, time is up. Yeah. We were off work. We were off work. I told them they were off work. We were off work. We've been Okay, well, speaking of things that we didn't see on camera, 
Aaron Thomas, you said you had a little issue with Miss Kendra over here. Uh, uh, what, what happened? I, oh, <sighs> you know. <laughs> can we talk about it quick? I'll say this. I mean, I wasn't under the influence. Everybody was lit. I was lit, so we was having fun. Sometimes when you don't know somebody, things can go a little bit farther than it's supposed to. So I'll just leave it at that. I have no problem with Kendra. We talked about it. Some things are triggering. Things happen. It happens, and it happened, and it's done. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. We found out down the line that we had a child together. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Right. Right. Now one of them. Oliver, uh, Oliver, why, why do you feel like Rico with the K was more in favor of Kendra and Dominique concerning last year's situation? You know what? In this moment, I don't even remember. You sure and even honestly though, even in that moment, I really didn't remember. It was really me just working. You know, it was a scene. I had to go shoot. And so in that moment, uh, me and Rico, we don't hang out all the time, but I had just invited him to Nini's place. We hung, like we spoke outside. We He's called me on the phone, asking me for like business, stuff like that. So in that moment, I just thought we were just exchanging ideas and opinions about what it was, but I was feeling like a growing anger from him. So I was like, like Rico, me, in my brain, like, we not finna do this. Like, you and I are not finna do this. Do you just need to breathe? Do you need to, like, reset, rethink? Because me and you are not finna do this. That's all. Yeah. I guess because, listen, Charlie, you said. But it went viral. <laughs> no, it went viral. It was everywhere. You said you felt like Rico overextended his opinion in the situation. Okay. So my question is, how does one overextend their opinion, specifically if they are asked by someone their opinion? Um, I wasn't referring to him asking. It was some other stuff, but, like, Honestly, that was last season. I really can't remember. I couldn't really remember in that moment, which is why I was like laughing it off. Cause I was like, I don't remember this shit. Like, I just don't remember. But the root of it was we were just exchanging ideas. Whatever the ideas were, the opinions were, our experiences were, I just didn't think what we were talking about warranted like it to be a thing. And I, I felt like he was like, his, vo his voice was raised and the hands was going. And I was like, oh, well, let's just take a break. Like Kendra says, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just said 60, yeah. Okay, well, did, did you feel that way about Rico's uh, opinion because it wasn't in alignment with your viewpoint? No, no, because if I believe something, it's only me who needs to believe it. I don't need a team to like cheer me on. Are you sure? Um, no. You sure? I'm, I've been on the show for three years and I've stood by myself many of times. I'm fine. Rico, why were you so frustrated in that moment while expressing yourself to Oliver? Is it his condescending tone? Uh, it, it was, was that as well. But um, honestly, we were there because he, we were cool during right before we started filming, right? And we had a conversation. It was just like, well, let's talk. Let's talk about what it was. Let's get it out the way. I, in my mind, was really trying to be friends with this man. You feel what I'm saying? Let's get it out in the open so it doesn't happen again. When he said what he said about me having a, 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 an opinion about him and Kendra's beef, what he was referring to, I literally said, y'all both did things to each other. That scene last season, I said, y'all have done things to each other. Both of y'all need to apologize. Both of y'all need to sit down. Da -da -da. Nobody is a uh, bigger blame. Nobody is that blame. Oh, that's what it was. Thank you. Okay. And so that's I why I was now. just, I was very confused because why are you feeling this way? Or, or you, you've been holding on to this when like you asked for that opinion. I'm still lost. When I said he was overextending it, I was talking about like he didn't know the full information. Before season four started, Kendra called me with Wayne the Paint on the phone and we talked about everything that happened that's in season three. But, but uh, let me tell my point, my, my side. We had already talked about, you guys, 60 I got you, I got you, I'm gonna do it in 30. We had already talked about everything that, that, had, that had happened in the past. I said, I'm sorry, me and her said we were moving forward, beginning for season four. So when season four happened and all that stuff was going on and then the new people were like, well, y'all did stuff, y'all did stuff. I was like, me and Kendra honestly have already done this song and dance. I don't know why at the time she was doing it. It's, 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 it's water underneath the bridge. That's, that's what it was. But then even in that moment, whether or not I agree with him, I just didn't think the conversation was one that needed to be aggressive or, or anything. That's all. I mean, but just don't be Rico. condescending then. You feel what I'm saying? Uh -huh. and this, we're cool, I promise. But if you're having a conversation with somebody, don't belittle them or don't talk to them like they're stupid, they're ignorant, or they're younger than you. I don't like that because I talk to you with respect. I came in that room with respect. It's until you started to act fucking crazy and start saying some crazy shit that I started to turn up. I wasn't there to fight Oliver Twix. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about this Kendra and Oliver beef. It has nothing to do with me. Bitch, I'm out here working. Bitch, let's figure out a way that we can make money together. I'm lost.
My apologies if I was being condescending. I really wasn't trying to be. I was really just king because I was just like, wow. Well, <laughs> well, okay, how about I this? I was honestly king. I'll, I'll say, if, I didn't but, take that as a king moment. I took that very serious. Which, I didn't come in there filming for a reality show. I, I came in there on some real life shit. Let's get this out. I really want to be your friend because this is lucrative. But I mean, but in real life, I was keen about it because I was like, I just didn't think it was a thing. That was my experience. Now, but, but if you felt, give me one second, but if you felt like I was being condescending, that was not my intent, honestly. It was not. I was really respect. just king. Like, I was just playing, laughing. Like, I was I was being an asshole. I really was. I was being an and asshole. And that's respect. Um, but now that we've had the conversation, and you told me the things about me that trigger you and make you feel a way, I'll try not to do that again. Period. That's cool. Oh, okay, yeah. Look at us. Uh, well, uh, girl, you seem to be annoyed with Cousin Skeeter, as you called Oliver Twix, the whole cabinet. Uh, what was he doing to irk your soul? Okay, so everybody received the, okay so I, I was I was told that not everyone received the itinerary but we had an itinerary of how the weekend was supposed to go and we had a list of who was supposed to be doing what that's how I knew what to pack because I knew the camera wanted to have a pajama thingy thing that's why I had lingerie and shit so when we got there and we all just standing around waiting it was mandatory for all of us to go to the store all of us are tired as hell so when she get here she got there late and it's like well, can I go wash my ass or can I go do this and I go do that? Baby, we all want to wash our ass. We all want to go lay down. We really, I really could have took my ass to the store without everybody, but since it is a mandatory thing, then come on and just be on board. And when I ask the question, who's doing their own thing tonight, everybody busts out, damn. Why you have to say it like that? I'm not saying anything like anything. I'm asking who does this not concern so you can go and do whatever you need to do. I don't want you to subject yourself to a conversation that you don't need to be here for. So if you're getting food for yourself, offended for yourself, who is that? Nobody spoke up. So then when they turn around and I start making the list and they hit me with a, well, we're just going to do our own thing. That's what the fuck I just asked. And that's why I got aggravated. And, and, it, was, and it was just as simple as that. That's why I got aggravated with him because this bitch got smart. <laughs> and that one was talking about washing ass. So that's why I was aggravated at that point. And then when I took myself downstairs and I came back and I went over to the living room, I went in that living room by myself. No one was over there with me. Everybody adjourned to the living room where I was. And I'm like, now attention is on me. I didn't want no attention on me. I just wanted to move on because I'm the one cooking. That don't make sense. Like, I'm, that's what I do. I, I'm the, oh, that's all I do, right, is rattle pans, as you said. So if that's the case, then I need to know what the fuck I'm going to be putting in them pans that I'm going to be rattling. Point blank in the fuck, period. I, am, I, am, I, am I, oh my God, bitch, am I slow with some shit? Are yeah. oh, you right? But I want to put on record, I did not receive the itinerary. Oh. Exactly. Thank you. So, thank you. But that's not my problem. That's not my fault. So, I feel like I'm having missed the so email because from, I got the email. Okay, so from my, I got experience, the email. from my experience, from walking in, you can watch from the show, it was chaos already going on. No, it wasn't. No, it was, no, was not. In. And when no, I say no, chaos, there were loud talking. There was loud talking. There was loud talking. There was loud talking. There was loud talking. Since I love you, but let me get it out. Girl, we got to get out this people's shit. That's all I'm saying. There was loud talking. Everyone was moving. Production was moving. There were a lot of moving parts. No, production e didn't even say we were filming a scene. The people only saw Oliver be like, okay, what we doing? But everybody, like she said, like she said there, like she said in her, in her green screen, and like she said, when me and her went live, everybody was having an opinion. It was really those three that were going back and forth, and her friends were even like, okay, well, let's do this. Everybody was indecisive. Okay, well, whatever. They had just set up and told us that we was about to film, and they had just given us a rundown, but it is what it is. That was the whole, my whole entire point. I was on the itinerary, me and Kendra, to go and cook. So it was important for me and Kendra at least to be did the ones that went to the store. The reason me and him had words is because the like, boys were over the brunch. And I want to apologize you to you for that okay. because you didn't really know anything about what was going on any damn way but besides the fact that we were going on the trip. And so I take that back. The wig. That's the only thing I knew about was no, and so, wig, so, so I, we could have fun. So, I, so, I, so, I, so I, take, I take that back because ultimately when, I, when we had, I think it was because I was telling you the boys are doing the brunch. I'm not doing no, I no said brunch. I yes ma'am and I'm saying yes ma'am. And that was that. Yes ma'am. Aaron Thomas, when describing people in the group, okay, you said that Rico with a K comes off as a fan. <laughs> Not the lad. What about super lad? What about a super lad? What about him says fan terms? You know, um, when I don't know somebody, and first of all, let's just start there. So every time I see him, that's his, what his vibe was. I don't know you, the so you're coming what? up. Hear what I got to say, he asked me the question. I said, I tried to figure out what your vibe was. So to me, 
y'all can see it took me a while to open up on this season. You know what I'm saying? It just took a while, you know what I'm saying? So me trying to open up to somebody, I still didn't really know what your vibe was. Even from the spa day, oh, you know they're gonna talk about your OnlyFans. You know they're gonna do this. I'm like, what's really the vibes with you? So every time that you see me, it came off not genuine to me. Oh, I love your music. Oh, I love you so much. Oh. How do you love me? You don't, you don't even know who I am. We haven't spoke a conversation. We never hung out. That's all I was trying to say. So when I said that on the show, I just simply spoke my experience. Once again, I feel like that's needed. All this fake shit going on in the group at the time and all that, I'm like, no, y'all y'all not getting me in nothing. I need to know what's really going on, what's really the vibes. Cause this is reality TV, but my shit is real. Here. I mean, I came on the show with my brand, and not just as, okay, you know what I'm saying? So I have to protect my brand at all costs. Got you, Playboy. Hold on, hold that door right there. Uh, okay, so Rico, um, how you doing? Um, can you just answer this question for me? What's up, man? Are you a fan of Aaron Thomas? I'm a fan of, I'm a super fan of everybody on this fucking stage. Let me make that very abundantly clear. Every time I see somebody, no matter what the fuck it is, no matter if they hate me or if they love me, bitch, kudos and congratulations. I don't need to know you to show love. I can literally see what you're doing on Instagram. You deserve respect and I don't mind giving it. However, what you did wrong was you sat there and lied in front of thousands of people because everything that you said I said about you, you said to me in Houston, Texas last year when we had a show, baby boy. You walked up to me and you said, I am a fan of yours. And I said, oh, wow, okay, okay yeah, cool. I didn't know at this point that you were on the show. I didn't Correct. know anything of it. I didn't know who Aaron Thomas was. Mm -hmm. However, when we were at that spa day and I said to you, bro, they're going to bring up the fact that you're on OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. They were talking. That's not how you said it. They were talking. I came to you calmly and cool as fuck. But they it. were talking about you. They were saying whatever the fuck fine. was going on. That's and fine. I gave you a, a hint, a, a little, a, a fucking, hey, bro, like, yo, watch out. They're going to bring up your OnlyFans bullshit. That's all it was, bro. Right, that's cool. That's not how you said it, though. That's how did I say it? From. How did I say it? It just came off like, oh, just so you know, they're going to talk about your OnlyFans. What is that? I, I, I still don't know you. I don't know. I don't know what the vibe was. The you were the up. only person delivering no, news to me. I think the me. heads up was probably the best thing, so yeah. you go ahead I mean, and take care of what I, you need to take only care is not something I'm ashamed of oh, at the end of the day. That's oh, not, what, I, that's not what I'm worried like, about, you know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is I didn't know what your from intent what? was from day one. Okay. From, from what I'm getting is you guys are both fans of each other. He's a yes. great artist. Oh, okay. And I only, I only so discovered, let me get it straight, I only discovered Rico from the last season studying the show coming on to the season. You know what I'm saying? But I'm the super fan. That's okay, fine. Well, At the end of the day, okay. I can admit that I'm a fan of somebody. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are both fans. Let's move along. That's a, it's all love. Yeah, yeah. Love. Let's move along. You know? Congratulations on everything. Keep Same on Same to you. Oh, really? yeah. oh wow. Let That's me know if you need some promo it's for really your record. Period. Aaron, you didn't really come around the group that often. I watched the whole season at least about 10 times at this point, child. Really? Okay. And I still don't know much about who you really are other than your resume. I don't know nothing about you. Why didn't you come around the group more often? Still dealing with mental things. Um, before I was a high head, um, a lot of people know in the gospel industry, um, that's who I was. Um, and from that day, I was still growing. So coming back on to something I said I would never do again, which is reality TV, um, was pretty triggering, like every single time. And I, I, don't, I don't have a lot of friends like that, you know what I'm saying? I have a lot of friends, supporters and family, but um, for me, I just felt a lot of place was the wrong time, wrong place type of thing, because a lot of people don't know me. So if I say something to somebody, it could come off wrong. If it's this, it's that. A lot of things could have been misperceived. Um, so for a long time, it took me a while to open. I feel like I opened up you know, more towards the end of the season. Um, but that's what I dealt with, um, not causing myself not to knock nobody's head off by accident. Okay, but I'm, but I'm pretty sure you, were, you knew that you were in that mental place before you signed on to come on to the oh, show. Sure. So why even sign on to come on? Because I'm great at what I do. I came on to showcase my brand and who I am as my brand and as an artist. And I still impact people through the show. Through the, I feel like I've done my job through this whole season with that. Come on, it's in the comments. It's everywhere. It's in the interviews. Man, if you like it, I love it. Thank you. Oliver, while filming Chasing the Beat, you cut Kendra's performance because according to you, she showed up late. Now listen, the call time was 8.30, OK? However, she wasn't scheduled to perform until 11 p.m. Sissy Bob, why not have her perform anyways because she got there just a little bit before 11? That's a great question. That's a very good question. Great question. So before I even say what the call time for the show was for Chasing the Beat, Chasing Atlanta told everybody to be there at 6. Gotcha. That was the call time for the show to film that day in our emails, to be there at 6. 
The reason why Kendra was scheduled to come in at 8.30 was to give her an hour, which is, which is standard when you do productions and television. You give the talent an hour to get themselves together. Because at 9.30, as I explained on the show, I was going to do a shot of everybody closing out, waving goodbye to the, to the people, thanking them for watching. What ended up happening was, when we did not film that, that closeout, if you look at Chasing the Beat, Cameron's eyes are bloodshot red because he had been there all day. He was tired. We could not film the closeout. I was telling everybody, wait around, stay so we can, Kendra can come. Wayne was telling us she was five minutes up the road, 20 minutes up the road, 15 minutes up the road. So I was making everybody stay and wait so we can film the closeout. Once it got past a certain time where we did not film the closeout, I had to resume filming everything that was already supposed to be scheduled filming. I had wasted time waiting because I was told, and I wasn't only told this, the, pr the production company was also told she's five minutes away, 10 minutes away, 15 minutes away, 30 minutes and all that time had passed. And I still got to give these people who are working in the studio a break. But when I pulled up, they said everything was ready. And I walked right in and it took less than five minutes. And I was together and I came out and I sat around a whole hour. My thing with this is this. Um, <clears throat> Kendra, you did not sit around for an oh, hour. Baby, we didn't do, it. I sat you around a like long time. You came out like 10.45. We were done at 12. It's, you were you my thing, there. My thing is this, Oliver, and it's all love. You know, we talked about this on the reunion last year. This is something that I wanted to do. Like, I was happy to do this. That hurt my feelings, you know, because it's like, I did break my neck to get the, yeah, I'm not going to be, it's a lot when you wanted the girls. Mm -hmm. We have to do a lot. We, we can't just... <sighs> pop up and be here. No, we gotta get into hair, makeup. It's, it's a process for T.S. Lil' Kendra. My, my, my makeup artist, she like 40 minutes away from me and I love her, you know? And it's like that day she was like, Kendra, I'm not gonna be able to do you until eight. I got this going on, I got the, everybody got schedules. So you know what? I did the best, I, I waited till eight and I got there and did my makeup or whatever. And I got ready and I made it. You said you I got there at eight? No, I didn't do, get there at eight. Oh. When she, whenever she said she could do my makeup, that's when I got there. Cause I was on her time. And then after that, I pushed too. But I called when I got there and said, I'm outside, honey. Everything is ready. And no one this. told me and that there was a scheduling issue. No one, and I had sent that schedule out before. And in the email, it said, if you have any discrepancy, let me know ahead of time so I can make arrangements for you. Well, I'm glad you brought that up. Wayne, as her manager, do you feel like you dropped the ball that day? What do you mean by dropping the ball? You're, as a manager, it's, it's your job to make sure your, your, your client or your artist knows the correct call time, which we have established was 8.30. Right. Why did your client get there at 10? She just told you the makeup artist wasn't, wasn't going to be able to get prepared until 8 o'clock. Kendra, so the thing is, if she no got her makeup done me. at 6, we're actually shooting a video. No and there was nobody, we didn't know if there was a, a, a good enough camera to touch up her skin or what. So we figured if she come in, well, I guess she figured if she would have came in later, it would, her makeup still would have been fresh and set. But Kendra knew the time, but she figuring why well, just sit around. But, I, okay, I have a question. Everybody in, in here, y'all are all artists, correct? Well, most most people are singers, musicians, whatever. I've never managed a, an artist like in person, but I'm assuming that if I'm a manager, Shouldn't I get my clients makeup scheduled the makeup artist at a certain time? There are some things that's not in your control. I do want to throw that out there. Okay, I'm like, I, what's I mean, you can't make me. I mean, Kendra has her own style. When she go to pick out what she want, that's what she want. I'm like, I don't want to. I don't want to be made like I'm like I'm crazy right now. Everybody who was running the actual show, you were telling us that she's five minutes away, 10 minutes away, 15 minutes away, which is why I said pause before we film anything else. Let's try to get her here so I can get this full cast close out and then I can send everybody home. Nobody communicated with me. I don't have a problem if she if she wanted to come at then. I then would have said, okay, well, if she want to come come in at 10, let me try to rearrange some type of way to get this final class close out. Nobody communicated with me. If it was a problem, I should have been told so I could have fixed it. I mean, and we not had done to me, we was communicating because uh, Kendra no brought you she was, your she was around, though, Because you brought your stylist with you that day, right? Uh, and, right he was, and, and everybody had enough time to sit down and eat and get their food and shit. That's why I'm like, it was the, it was Even the when they showed it, y'all was, was playing. When I was editing him, and I, I don't got a lot, I can show receipts. I was filming a clip of him at that was marked 1030. 20 minutes into it, Cameron then says, is Kendra still not here? Another voice, and I'm assuming it's someone from production said, no, she is not. Mm. 
That was at 10.50. By the time we got to 11 oh, o'clock, no, because... Was Kendra was there. Well, I was there. By the time... Take it out with our bosses. Okay. By the time that it was that, by the time we had got to that, I had wasted time waiting and rearranging. I could not. Drew had paid dancers to be there. How can I tell them they can't dance because somebody else was not there on time? That's oh, not I fair to them. What time y'all live? Oh, what about? We, I know. I know we, they had time. We, I know they had time. We stamped. finished at twelve. No, I know they had time stamped on the show that Drew was performing at twelve thirty-four. That's yeah. why I asked because the time was on the show. Yeah, because Drew went on at twelve thirteen. It wasn't twelve thirty-four. No, it was because me and Willa didn't walk out until. 12. We didn't walk out until after twelve thirty. Well, y'all put us out, out actually. Y'all said we had to leave, and she was still inside. It was not twelve thirty-four. It was. It was not twelve thirty-four. It was. It was not twelve thirty-four. And before twelve got there, I moved out the way so Drew and them could. I can pull the the the. the I can run the shoot back. They played the shit on the show instead. She. I said, play the clip. Listen, at the end of the day, I was hurt because I, I really wanted to do, that was big to me. This is the first season me and Oliver don't get along through the whole season. Shit, I'm surprised. Can I say Wait. something? Hold I'm on. sorry. This is for artist and manager. This is no shade. I promise you it's not no shade. I'm not just saying, just say, I'm saying this in the kindness and the, the interest that I have and the love for both y'all. A call time is a call time. A call time and so hold on. Call time. call time is call time and show time is show time. So whether it's BT, whether it's chasing reality, whether it's a, um, a LGBT event, whatever it is, you got to be there for that call time I regardless. Mean, no, I, and if they're, I like you said, if anything was to happen, I just would have not showed up. That's just to me. That makes that makes perfect sense. And you know what? Chasing the beat turned out to be amazing regardless. And Kendra, better luck, better luck next season on and I also want, want to make something clear because there are a lot of people in the comments saying that I purposely cut her out. Even after we had wrapped, I reached out to Wayne and I reached out to Kendra weeks before I had to turn this in to Chase in Reality. No, to it try wasn't to, weeks before. It was, it was June 3rd. It was not weeks before. It, it was June 3rd. It, it was before. June 3rd. Wayne, don't lie. It was it don't piss me off because it was June 3rd. We're going to take a break and we will be back. We will have more. And, um, we'll have take responsibility that you fucked up. Team. You don't ever want to take responsibility that you that you fuck up. You fucked up. It's okay. But I, I did reach out to you. I, I, did, I did reach out to you weeks time, before. Bro. I, I was know, there. I, I was there, there on time. time. So and, what's and the that's problem? The mystery. How did you know that you were there on time, but your artist was not she there? She knew on time. the time. When then I she, was, she saying she so did if it. I, if I got there at eight thirty, you don't think I call? I'm on the phone with Kendra every minute. She's saying she did not know. But when I got she's there, she's saying right here, right now, today, she did not know. Well, she said it. And I did. I reached so out to honestly, everybody on the same day. So you honestly day. think I'm gonna throw my artist under the bus in front of you? If she said that, that's what she said. Well, that's what she said. Clearly, clearly, no. So if I was there at 8:30, there. you don't think she knew? I reached out to you June 3rd. I reached out to everybody and said, Hey, I want to finish this. Do y'all want to come in and do X, Y, and Z? I was messaging her, messaging you, emailing y'all weeks before I had to turn this in. I was messaging y'all a week before I had to do this, trying to get y'all in. You messaged me after you put it. The preview out, that is and not the fans true. That were is saying, not true. "Where's Kendra?" That is not true. Then, that is not true. I messaged everybody before. I, that's when I you did. I messaged everybody before I put the preview. Come on, I know you're Come fucking on. lying, and I'm sick I'm of lying. it. I'm calling right, out today. Right. Yes, you're lying. Right. Well, I, I messaged lie, lie. everybody the same day before I put that preview out. Thank you, Troy. Days before, yeah, so don't sit here and lie. Oh, take this. This your fucking problem. Wait, and I love you. I'm saying, take responsibility. Let you just fucked up. Fucked up with what? I told Kendra what time to be there. I told Kendra what time to be there. If you just said you called out and reached out to everybody, you sent emails and all this. Why didn't she know? You tell me you are You got her phone number. You tell me. I messaged her. Exactly. You just said you messaged her. You got her phone number. Boy, stop. Oliver and Charles throw the little shady yeah, stuff what I'm talking everything. about. We are going to take a break, okay? We will have more Chasing Atlanta the Reunion after this. Hello? I don't give a fuck. It's not needed. I put the trailer out June 9th. I text you on June 6th saying, hey, happy Monday, everybody. I'm coming out of my funk. Can you do something? You just said the third. And I and, and 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 I made a mistake. It was June 6th. The trailer came out June 9th. I did not contact you after I posted it and people started saying something. So don't sit here and lie. That's not true. I text you directly, Wayne, the pain. Is there a response? No. June 7th. Hey, can kids come to the studios? Um, can kids come to the studio? June um 15th. Hey, never heard back from y'all. June 15th. Hey, June 16th. Hey. Bitch, I'm many things on the show. I'm a bitch, but I don't lie and I don't try to set nobody up. Don't sit here and lie on me. It's yeah, we can move. We moving.
next time on the Chasing Atlanta reunion. Jay told me when I went to his house that Drew had been talking about everybody. Can you move her? Because I did not interrupt her. No, she wasn't getting ran by me because anything I had to say about you, I said to her. So, baby, don't ever try to play me. I'm the bitch that'll say it to a hoe. Hit me, please. Please hit me. Let's do it. Hit me, girl. Willa, hold on. The reason why I blocked you on social media was because I got a phone call from production after Ike's event that you. Let's talk about it.